embracing the journey, learning from setbacks, and persistently striving for enhancement throughout the process. A pleasant morning to everyone gathered here. On behalf of the management, secretary, principal, and deans of Dr. Mahalingam College of Engineering and Technology, we extend a warm welcome to everyone gathered here for Research Incentive Award Ceremony. We have gathered here today to celebrate the incredible achievements and innovative contributions of our innovators and researchers. Today's ceremony is a testament to the unwavering dedication and passion of our awardees whose tireless efforts have brought us closer to a world of endless possibilities and boundless opportunities. Now, in this moment of peacefulness, I would like to invite Ms. P. Kalaiwani, Assistant Professor, Department of Information Technology, RIG, Data Science Domain, Primary Member, to invoke the blessings of the Almighty. A warm welcome is the first sign of hospitality. May we invite Ms. A.G. Priyavashni, Assistant Professor, Department of Information Technology, R&I, PhD Coursework and Budget Coordinator to present the welcome address. Esteemed administrative team and dedicated faculty members, a warm welcome to all as we gather today to celebrate innovation and excellence A warm welcome to all as we gather today to celebrate innovation and excellence in research at our institution. We are thrilled to recognize the hard work and dedication of our faculty in the pursuit of knowledge and progress. I would like to extend a special welcome to our esteemed secretary, Dr. C. Ramaswamy sir, our principal, Dr. P. Govindasamy sir, our dean research and innovation, Dr. S. Ramakrishnan sir, our Dean Academics and Autonomous, Dr. A. Sendhil Kumar, sir. Our Dean Industry Relations and Talent Development, Dr. Calvin Sophistus King, sir. And HODs of various departments. I also extend a warm welcome to our respected teaching and non-teaching faculty members. The initiatives taken by the r and department foster a culture of research excellence in our institution. The initiatives include the periodic review of department r and activities, half early progress reviews of PhD scholars, knowledge sharing sessions, research interest group activities, and so on. Dr. S. Ramakrishnan, Dean Research and Innovation, will provide a brief introduction about the RA initiatives and research statistics with us. Remarkably, our institution recently conducted the Research Incentive Awards Ceremony for the period from June 2017 to December 2022 on June 9, 2023. Once again, we gather here to honor the faculty members for their contributions in various research activities for the period of January 2023 to December 2023. Today's event serves as a reflection of the dedication and hard work of our faculty members in advancing the frontiers of knowledge and driving impactful research outcomes. Your contributions not only enrich our academic community, but also demonstrate the potential for a brighter and more innovative future. Before we proceed further, I express our sincere gratitude to our management for their consistent support and for providing incentives to our faculty members. 
Your encouragement and recognition are instrumental in nurturing a culture of research excellence within our institution. As we celebrate our achievements today, let us reaffirm our commitment to cultivating a culture of research excellence and collaboration. Together, let us continue to push the boundaries of knowledge, inspire future generations, and make a lasting impact on society. Once again, I extend a warm welcome to each one of you to today's event. Thank you. The greatest leader is not necessarily the one who does the greatest things. He's really the one who gets the people to do the greatest things. May we now invite one such inspiring personality, Dr. S. Ramakrishnan, Dean of Research and Innovation, to present the details of research initiatives and research statistics. Okay. Good morning. I would like to join uh, Professor Priya Vishni on behalf of uh, the management, welcoming all of you. A special welcome to our Secretary Sir, Principal Sir, Sandil Sir and Calvin Sir and HODs, all the faculty members. Today we all assembled here to distribute the research incentive for the faculty members who contributed in terms of research publications, patent, funded projects, from January 2023 to December 2023, one calendar year. As mentioned by Professor Priya Varshini, in the same hall, nine months ago, on June 9th, we celebrated in a massive way by distributing incentive to the faculty members for the five years, ranging from June 2017 to December 2022. Hereafter, the management decided to host semester-wise, so we will be having a, a semester-wise incentive award distributions in future. I would like to spend another uh, about uh, 10 minutes in briefing uh, statistics and various initiatives are taken by us, and more importantly, what are our strength, where we stand with this current scenario of uh, we are uh, planning to migrate, how we can strengthen the research activity, which will help not only the institution, but also the individual. We used to visit departments, research scholars, and in-house R&D, uh, project work coordinators, very regularly, where we share the uh, details now and then. But if you carefully see the statistics, what we have just now, so this is the quick outline. Maybe I, I, I will try to limit to five to seven minutes. Maximum it will take about 10 minutes. So if you see the statistics here, in June uh, 2013, we made this incentive award. There are 53 research publications. Here we put the statistics for the period 2017 to 22, whereas here, this is the annual average. If you see the annual average, our Q1 publications was 11. Now it is increased up to 17, which is about 55% improvement, so which is significant. And if you also see the SEIE publications, annual average was 27. Now it becomes 43. It is again close to 60%. But if you see the Scopus publication, for over five years, we made only 18. But only for this year, we made 23, which is an uh, uh, excellent number. But still, there are a uh, long gap and way to proceed. But what we did and what we do, there is a progress, and let us keep doing in a better way. And college H index is also improved from 45 to 51. And the citations of the papers by the faculty increased by 2000, I'm sorry, uh, 2,800 approximately. The significant improvement made in terms of faculty registering PhD. Last two sessions of Anna University Chennai, we encouraged the faculty to register PhD in good numbers. Almost most of the faculty members registered. At present, there are 144 faculty members are doing research, which is a significant improvement we made in terms of qualifying the faculties at higher level. And there are number of good number of submissions to the uh, funding agencies, followed by significant improvement in terms of patent. So when we 
celebrate uh, the annual activity in uh, uh, June, we had only about four uh, patent. Now, there are about 19 patent with us. So, surpassing the previous five years tally, now we have totally about 19 patent. Totally, we have about 121 patent uh, published by the faculty and close to 23 are already granted, uh, which is also being displayed in the research corner. And in terms of consultancy also, there is a significant improvement in terms of the revenue sharing. In terms of the amount uh, for the incentive, if you see, the research publications for the five-year annual average stands at uh, 2,25,300, but for this current year, that is from January 2023 to December 2023, one year period, we have 4,11,500, which is 83 percent improvement. Similarly, external funded project close to 200 percent improvement. Overall, if you see, in previous time, we spent about 4,27,901 for research incentive. Now, we are spending for one year almost double, 110 percent, 9,3,463. So, there are good progress, but still, as I indicated, long way to go. So what are the contributions, uh, uh, what are the causes uh, uh, which are uh, uh, helping for this improvement? We are not sure yet, but we have taken a number of initiatives. One such initiative is forming the research interest group. Then student research council is also formulated and increasing the number of research scholars which I indicated earlier. There are about 144 PhD scholars working with us now. About 70 are doing the coursework at present. But if you carefully see after one year, if each faculty started publishing about two papers, our annual average now stands at 83, but we may easily cross up around 400, but the others are also contributing. And we used to conduct knowledge sharing sessions, research seminars regularly, and IPR, as mentioned earlier, there are good improvements in. We used to review the department once in six weeks regularly. This process we will continue in future also. Most of the processes are uh, uh, formulated and uh, updated in the research website of MCET. Apart from that, we are also coordinating the NIRF activity, which uh, uh, gives us a significant inroad in understanding the requirement of the institution to rank nationally. I am confident that with this current phase, with the support of the management and the faculty members, soon we will get into the band. Then, Number of uh, call for proposals are circulated. Students, by and large, encouraged to attend seminars, workshop, competitive event wherever possible. We also provide seed money uh, systematically for the uh, in-house R&D, which we are also uh, uh, re repeating this academic year. And research tools like Turnitin, Quillbat, Grammarly are being purchased and made available in Central Library and Dean RI Office which is also helping the faculty members uh, uh, to find out the similarity of the research work. So few of the initiatives, if you see the uh, research interest group, exactly in the same hall, our chairman uh, given some hint to the uh, director, uh, CFR, uh, who was the uh, chief guest for the incentive distribution, Dr. Umarani, madam. Our chairman used to tell, like, if you cluster the colleges in terms of research, you can surpass the IETs in NIRF ranking. In fact, the madam, after uh, uh, leaving uh, this particular ceremony, uh, presented this in different way uh, to the syndicate and uh, got it approved. Our principal also visited a number of uh, times, uh, maybe a couple of times. She happily mentioned about uh, uh, the chairman's advice and how the progress made. Recently, they conducted the international conference where we sponsor and put up the stall. Now, the seed money call uh, made as a part of uh, the initiative which our chairman indicated. Today is the last day to hope, uh, at least uh, I am seeing uh, uh, Valarmadi Madam is pushing one uh, uh, proposal. Maybe uh, if, if we push a couple of proposal, four of the faculty visited the uh, 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 conference and uh, made the stall. Dr. Umarani Madam told we, they wanted to close by March. They have a the huge fund. So I am sure if you submit, because this is the idea originated from here, we will get it. So, uh, make it possible, uh, maybe at least another two, three proposals. Uh, 
number of uh, domains we have created as the part of uh, signing MOU between Anna University and MCET. We don't want to stop with the proposal alone. Our principal indicated uh, why don't we actually made this practice into uh, real uh, scenario. So SPOC is identified. They are doing remarkable work. There are close to 51 research seminars in the period of uh, eight months made. I am seeing at least one or two research seminar per RAG regularly happening, which is a good thing. But anyway, we, we still wanted to formulate and improve uh, in terms of quality as well as quantity of RAG. In fact, our plan is to make sure that now we are going ahead with the department-wise comparison. Maybe if we really grow in a better way, all this incentive can be uh, compared or uh, compiled based on the RAG. Second initiative is uh, again a uh, uh, few months ago our principal indicated why don't you start uh, uh, like a student guild of service, why don't you start something like a student guild of research. Uh, then we made into discussion and then finally arrived at a uh, student research council. Uh, there are about three quality programs they have hosted so far and a couple of other programs also they are planning, namely IP identification patent identification from the projects of the students. Maybe in another week's time, we will come out with a clear proposal calling the department and the students to submit if they feel their project work can be suitable for patent or design. That task they are doing. Also, they wanted to make sure that the quality of the final year projects and they wanted to evaluate with the help of external experts and try to recommend the best project from the ongoing final year projects. Number of activities they are also planning for the next academic year. Then the knowledge sharing session, under three categories we have conducted. There are about 12 external experts, 10 internal experts made about 22 uh, knowledge sharing sessions. In terms of pattern, we conducted uh, uh, two identification works of our, uh, like what I mentioned for the student, we already did it for the faculty. Couple of times we called uh, the controller of patent, there are three controller of patent, in fact four controller of patent, three from uh, Chennai office, one from Kolkata visited two times along with uh, three to four patent agents. They interacted with the faculty and finally recommended about 21 inventions to be patentable, which we are following already six filed and other things are in the pipeline. And we are also planning uh, to elevate four to five of our faculty across various streams to qualify in the patent agent examination. So which is happening regularly, Government of India is conducting an examination for patent agent, which recently I come across uh, a couple of faculty from other leading colleges, uh, they successfully cleared the examination. Then I discussed with the RA coordinators and they, uh, they wanted to make sure that we also about four or five interested faculty can be uh, nominated and given suitable training to qualify. In in getting this patent agent qualification, our faculty can themselves to file draft the patent. In fact, a few are already attempting to do so. And we are also opening, uh, we are also providing a space for IP office, KM IP consultancy in, I think, uh, uh, C block uh, room number, I am not sure, in the first floor of the uh, C block, which will be uh, uh, in operation in another week's time. Then about four to six weeks, we visited all 11 departments periodically. There are about 44 meetings conducted. All the HODs and the faculty members took it positively. Uh, this is the area where the people may not be comfortable. When somebody come to you and then ask about your performance and the set target and uh, force you to do something which normally our uh, human behavior is, uh, we, we uh, kind of uh, ripple force whatever, whenever something, somebody approaching us to read, to study, to prepare, to do research, natural human tendency is to go away. But in spite of that, uh, faculty members and HODs are cordially cooperated. We made about uh, four cycles of the review and also the PhD review half yearly we have completed two occasions. Next time we plan to invite external experts for the half yearly PhD review. You know, sir, and also we reviewed. And another initiative is uh, uh, encouraging faculty to complete uh, online certifications, especially from NPTEL in design thinking, IPR, research writing, and topics which are 
uh, helping the faculty to do better quality research. A good number of faculties, there are 60 faculties cleared. Interestingly, about four or five faculties, uh, uh, this already, this poster is uh, shared in the staff group. They got a top one to top five rank in the particular examination. With this, we are confident that the fact now we can offer the courses to the students on design thinking IPR. Then the newsletter, handbooks are all posted in the website regularly we are publishing. Coming into incentive part, this is the norms what we are fixing as of now. Maybe we may revise in near future. Already the norms for patent recently revised to accommodate copyright and other patent over and above uh, the patent and also differentiating between uh, pattern and design. Those norms are already we have revised. And the consultancy we shared in 60, 40 or 40, 60 depending on whether institutional resources are utilized or not. And for in-house R&D, we fixed the minimum amount of 1 lakh. We practically find some difficulty. There are few departments, they can offer 1 lakh in-house R&D, but there are a number of departments, they don't have, they don't need, in fact, uh, such a amount to do some small activity. We fixed 1 lakh based on the NAC requirement, but now after 7 years only, we are going to face the NAC. We are not sure again, uh, they go ahead with 1 lakh or after 7 years, they may tell uh, we can honor only 3 lakhs or 5 lakhs. But w what we are now thinking like uh, whoever needed uh, whatever be the amount, if it is worth after proper review, we will try to recommend to the management for the in-house R&D. And this is the statistics which we have made in the previous incentive distribution. During that function, 18 lakhs 27,500 distributed and uh, over the five years period, the consultancy revenue, NPTEL, are periodically distributed. Total of about 40,56,123 shared. Now today, we got majorly three components. One is research publications. There are 83 publications. The incentive to the tune of 4,11,500 with the 46 faculties contribution we are now honoring. Then external funded project, five external funded project with the 12 faculty members are getting benefited out of that. 17 pattern and 18 faculties are getting benefited. Already we have distributed the NPTEL reimbursement and consultancy revenue sharing. Total amount of incentive being distributed today is 6,62,250. For the calendar year from January 2023 to December 23, uh, 2023, we have uh, including today we, we, we are distributing about 10,56,263. So for research obligations uh, statistics, department wise is shown here. If you see the number of faculty benefited, there are 46 faculty contributed. And, and also number of Q1 papers, SAE papers, Scopus papers are also listed. And some distribution of how many papers from LCVR, Springer, Wiley, Though the quality papers are there, but we are not having at this juncture paper from IEEE and a few other leading uh, publishers, but still I'm, I'm sure with the commitment and the contribution, when we meet up again, we will have that in this list also. So totally about, about 83 research papers are published for the one calendar year. Then in terms of external funded project, the major project what we have is C2S which is uh, to the tune of uh, 1 crore 39 lakhs 80,000. And instantly, interestingly, we got uh, two new courses, BE, VLSI and uh, AC, Advanced Communication Technology, with this project and uh, new courses coming in. And Government of India is also pushing uh, these two domains uh, at good number. We are confident that we not only complete the project successfully, we can also groom these uh, two departments in a better way. And uh, two projects from DST, one uh, DST Women Scheme, in fact both are also DST Women Scheme only. Then we have one completed ISRO project, then one EDIA project. Then in terms of pattern, right now we are not differentiating between pattern and design, but uh, the, as per the reverse circular, when we do this incentive processing, there will be a differentiation between utility pattern and design pattern and also we are accommodating other IPs. For consultancy, this period you can find only two departments are involving, but 
automobile and mechanical are doing with the L&T and other components. Uh, Dr. Calvin sir, with the COE and the NIA Skill Foundation is also doing consultancy work. Few other departments are also trying. Maybe we need to focus on two aspects over and above the research publication, consultancy and funded project. There are four faculty we are now nominating as the energy auditor uh, to clear the energy audit certification. They are also preparing. Hope they will complete soon and then uh, join with the Chitra Madam to fetch more consultancy for energy audit as well. So this is the detail for NITBT, NPTEL as well as uh, the faculty benefited which we have already distributed. Twenty-seven faculties completed uh, NITBT Act. This is basically for the faculty members uh, who got less than five years of experience. AACT is strongly recommending uh, to complete the eight modules. So we are uh, given reimbursement for the faculty members who successfully completed the eight modules along with the registration fee also for the NPTEL. So this is the uh, final slide I have, uh, department-wise statistics. If you see the automobile engineering, the number of faculty in the department 16. Now five faculty contributed for research, which is 30, approximately 31 percentage. Their incentive is uh, 59,000, uh, what we are distributing today, 59,816. Compared to the previous distribution, where we uh, made in uh, June, 2020-23, there is no change in number of faculty. Previously also five faculty contributed, now also five faculty contributed. For me mechanical and mechatronics combined, now there are 70 facul seven faculty out of 23 faculty contributing, which is again close to 30 percentage. 80,833 is the incentive share. But now the count is minus four. Uh, automobile, there is uh, no change, no faculty added, no faculty uh, uh, left. I'm, I'm not talking about the migration, number of faculty contributing. But for the mechanical and mechatronics, previously seven faculty, uh, uh, now seven faculty involved, previously we got about 11. So the count is minus four. And for the civil, it is plus three. 43% uh, of the faculty are involved in the uh, uh, in uh, incentive, mostly from uh, uh, consultancy and funded project and uh, uh, I, I, I don't think the research projects you have. You have consultancy and uh, research publications. Then for CSE, out of 27, uh, I'm sorry, for IT, out of 25 faculty, nine faculties are now benefited. Compared to the previous occasion, plus two. Uh, two new additions, 35 percentage. Then for CSE, now five faculty, only 19 percent of the faculty contributed. Their incentive share is 42,400 plus two. Previously only three, now there are five faculties contributed. For AADS, MCA, they are small department they are picking up. For ECE and uh, for uh, Triple E and E and I, now nine faculty, close to 30 percentage, 116,000 their share, minus two. So if you see ECE, again nine, 36 percentage, plus one, one more faculty added. For CSE, cyber security, again new department. For S and H, six faculty, which is uh, out of 36, uh, 17 percentage, 89,500. So college as a whole, if you see, there are only two new faces entering into the research contribution, not many. But with the two new faces, we are almost doubled the incentive. So what really happened, whoever already contributed, they increased their contribution. But whoever not contributed, they are not started contributing. So that is what the statistics reveals. But with my understanding, with the periodic uh, review of the department research activities once in six weeks, I am noticing number of uh, submissions, uh, potential submissions. In fact, a number of departments, they got uh, revisions. They already filed a patent, which probably in another six months or maximum one year period, we will increase. College as a whole, we have only about 30% uh, of the faculty involving in research activity. If we at least double, so instead of uh, simply doubling the incentive amount, if we double the number of faculties uh, uh, contributing from 30 percent to 60 percent, we will definitely, not only in NIRF, but in all aspects uh, from elevating from our institution to the next stage, the research is one of the very important area which will help not only the individual profile 
college profile, also the students in having the better teaching learning processes. I wish you all the best, whoever receiving the incentive. Whoever not receiving today, probably take it positively. It is a matter of time. Maybe in next occasion, you will certainly do better and you will get the uh, uh, good share. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Success is no accident. It is achieved through hard work, perseverance, and most of all, passion of what you are doing. The time has come to honor the exceptional research achievements of our esteemed colleagues. We would now like to invite our dignitaries to join the dice for honoring the awarders. Now, we are going to invite all the faculties, department-wise, to receive well-deserved recognition. Let us applaud their dedication and contributions to advancing knowledge. With great honor and distinction, we now turn our attention to the esteemed faculty members of the automobile department. Five faculty members are benefited with an incentive of rupees 59,816. May we now request our secretary sir to honor the awardees. Dr. D. Shanmugam sir, Distinguished researcher with an impressive H-index of 9 and the highest impact factor of 8.7. His notable contributions in the field include publications in renowned journals such as the Journal of Composites and Journal of Reinforced Plastics and Composites. Dr. Shanmugam has published journal indexed in Q1 with a count of 1 and SEA with a count of 4. His outstanding achievements have earned him a total amount of rupees 13,750 reflecting the recognition and impact of his work. Dr. M. Selvakumar is a renowned researcher in the field of automotive engineering with an impressive H-index of 12 and the highest impact factor of 9.4. His top publications include Journal of Energy Storage, Renewable Energy, Biomass Conversion and Biorefinery and Tribology International. He has received a grant of 3.21 lakhs from EDIATN and received Research Excellence Award 2023. Dr. Selvakumar has secured research funding worth rupees 12,000. Dr. Selvakumar has published journal index in Q1 with a count of 1 and SEA with a count of 1. His outstanding achievements have earned him a total amount of rupees 17,416. Dr. M. Tirnavakarasu is a renowned researcher in the field of automotive engineering with an impressive H-index of 4 and the highest impact factor of 7.4. His top publications include Fuel Elsevier, Journal of Thermal Analysis and Calorimetry Springer. Thermal Science and Alexandria Engineering Journal, Elsevier. He has received a grant on design pattern. Dr. M. Tirunavakarasu has published journal index in Q1 with a count of 1 and SEA with a count of 3. His outstanding achievements have earned him a total amount of rupees 22,500. Due to his absence, Mr. S. Mahalingam from Automobile Department has received the incentive. Dr. S. K. Ashok is eminent researcher in the field of automotive engineering with an impressive H-index of 2 and the highest impact factor of 1.62. His top publications include the Aeronautical Journal and Transactions of the Canadian Society for Mechanical Engineering. He has received grant on a design pattern and active reviewer in the, of the journal Material Research Express. Dr. S.K. Ashok indexed in SEA with a count of 1. His out, outstanding achievements have earned him a total amount of rupees 3,900. Now, we turn our attention to the esteemed faculty members of mechanical department. Seven faculty members are benefited with an incentive amount of rupees 80,833. Dr. Rama Thirumurgan is a distinguished researcher in the field of mechanical engineering with an impressive H index of 9 and a highest impact factor of 5.2. His top publications include polymer composites, engineering failure analysis, materials and manufacturing process, Composite Part A and Journal of Reinforced Plastics and Composites. He has received Certificate of Achievement from NIT Pandicherry for the outstanding supports and motivation given to the students to participate in SAE sponsored ETET 2024 event. Dr. Ramathirumagan has published Journal Index in Q1 with a count of 1 and SAE with a count of 3. His outstanding achievements have earned him a total amount of rupees 8,750. Dr. D. Nathan is a renowned researcher in the field of mechanical engineering with an impressive H index of 1 and highest impact of 2.3. His top publications include Materials Engineering and Performance and Machining and Machinability of Materials. He has applied a utility pattern with full funding from institutions. Dr. D. Nathan has published journal index in SAE with a count of 1. His outstanding achievements 
have earned him a total amount of rupees 1667. Dr. T. Ram Kumar is an eminent researcher in the field of mechanical engineering with an impressive H index of 18 and the highest impact of 17.6. His outstanding achievements have earned him a total amount of rupees 15,417. Dr. N. Shanmugasundaram is a renowned researcher in the field of mechanical engineering with an impressive H index of 5 and the highest impact of 11.2. His outstanding achievements have earned him a total amount of rupees 6,250. Due to his absence, Mr. S. Naveen Kumar from Mechanical Department is receiving his incentive. Dr. M. J. Raj is a notable researcher in the field of mechanical engineering with an impressive H index of 6 and highest impact of 4.6. His outstanding achievements have earned him a total amount of rupees 21,250. Mr. Shijit S. Nair is a renowned researcher in the field of mechanical engineering with an impressive H index of 3 and highest impact factor of 2.2. His outstanding achievements have earned him a total amount of rupees 2,500. Mr. S. V. Guru Pranesh is a renowned researcher in the field of mechanical engineering with an impressive H index of 3 and highest impact factor of 5.2. His outstanding achievements have earned him a total amount of rupees 25,000. We now turn our attention to the esteemed faculty members of civil department. Six faculty members are benefited with an incentive of rupees 72,000. Dr. K. Murli is a renowned researcher in the field of civil engineering with an impressive H index of 9 and the highest impact factor of 3.2. His outstanding achievements in patent grant have earned him a total amount of rupees 1,666. Dr. N. Natarajan is a distinguished researcher in the field of civil engineering with an impressive H index of 16 and the highest impact factor of 5.8. His outstanding achievements have earned him a total amount of rupees 39,500. Dr. M. Mariyappan is an eminent researcher in the field of civil engineering with an impressive H index of 4 and the highest impact factor of 6.4. His outstanding achievements have earned him a total amount of rupees 15,000. Mr. S. Krishna Kumar is an eminent researcher in the field of civil engineering with an H index of 1 and the highest impact factor of 4.9. His outstanding achievements have earned him a total amount of rupees 12,500. Dr. K. Srinivasan is an renowned researcher in the field of civil engineering with an impressive H index of 3 and the highest impact factor of 1.6. His outstanding achievements in patent grant have earned him a total amount of rupees 1,667. Mr. M. Sudarshanan is a renowned researcher in the field of civil engineering with the highest impact factor of 1.26. His outstanding achievements in patent grant have earned him a total amount of rupees 1,666. We now turn our attention to the esteemed faculty members of the Department of Information Technology. Nine faculty members are benefited with an incentive amount of rupees 53,200. Dr. S. Ramakrishnan is a distinguished researcher in the field of IT with an impressive H index of 27 and the highest impact factor of 10.6. His outstanding achievements have earned him a total amount of rupees 4,400. Dr. A. B. Aroge Christopher is a renowned researcher in the field of IT with an impressive H index of 7 and the highest impact factor of 1.22. His outstanding achievements in the patent grant have earned him a total amount of rupees 2,500. Dr. A. P. Janani is a renowned researcher in the field of IT with an impressive H index of 2 and the highest impact factor of 2. Her outstanding achievements in the patent grant have earned her a total amount of rupees 5,000. <laughs> Dr. S. Punni Alai Satya is an eminent researcher in the field of IT with an impressive H index of 5 and highest impact factor of 2.2. 
her outstanding achievements has earned her a total in amount of rupees 3,900. Dr. J. Timmaya Raja is a renowned researcher in the field of IT with an impressive H-index of 7 and the highest impact factor of 7.5. His outstanding achievements have earned him a total amount of Rs. 23,000. Ms. A. G. Priya Vishni is a renowned researcher in the field of IT with an impressive H-index of 3 and the highest impact factor of 2.9. Outstanding achievements has earned her a total amount of Rs. 5,000. <laughs> Mr. C. Jeevanandam is a renowned researcher in the field of IT with an impressive H index of 1 and the highest impact factor of 0 0.5. His outstanding achievements have earned him a total amount of Rs. 3,000. Ms. D. Jenani is an eminent researcher in the field of IT with an impressive H index of 1 and highest impact factor of 0 0.55. Her outstanding achievements in the patent grant has earned her a total amount of Rs. 1,400. Ms. S. Selva Nayagi is a notable researcher in the field of IT with an impressive H index of 2 and the highest impact factor of 4.9. Her outstanding achievements in patent grant has earned her a total amount of Rs. 5,000. We now turn our attention to the esteemed faculty members of Department of Computer Science and Engineering. Five faculty members are benefited with an incentive amount of Rs. 42,400. Dr. M. Sendhil Madasamy is a distinguished researcher in the field of CSE with an H-index of 2 and the highest impact factor of 0.49. On behalf of him, his, uh, his outstanding achievements have earned him a total amount of rupees 5,000. And on behalf of him, we may request Manoj Kumar of CSE department to receive the incentive. <laughs> Dr. J. Bavitra is a renowned researcher in the field of computer science with an impressive H index of 5 and the impact factor of 3.8. Her outstanding achievements have earned her a total amount of rupees 10,000. Ms. Yan Sumati is an eminent researcher in the field of computer science with the highest impact factor of 0.14. Her outstanding achievements have earned her a total amount of Rs. 4,400. <laughs> Ms. G. Uma Maheshwari is a notable researcher in the field of computer science with an H-index of 1 and the highest impact factor of 8.5. Her outstanding achievements have earned her a total amount of Rs. 20,000. Ms. A. Suganya is a renowned researcher in the field of computer science with an impact factor of 0.3. Her outstanding achievements have earned her a total amount of rupees 3,000. <laughs> Next, we turn our attention to the esteemed faculty members of Department of EADS. Two faculty members are benefited with an incentive of rupees 7,500. Dr. M. Balakrishnan is a renowned researcher in the field of AIDS with a H, H index of 4 and impact factor of 1.3. May we request Mr. Vishnu Prasant from AIDS department to receive the incentive on his absence. <laughs> Mr. T. Selva Kumar is a renowned researcher in the field of AIDS with an impact factor of 3.6. His achievements have earned him a total amount of rupees 5,000. Next, we turn our attention to the esteemed faculty member of Master of Computer Applications. One faculty member is benefited with an incentive of rupees 10,500. Dr. R. Muthuswamy is a renowned researcher in the field of computer applications with an impressive H index of 4 and the highest impact factor of 12.7. His outstanding achievements have earned him a total amount of rupees 10,500. Next, we now turn our attention to the esteemed faculty members of electrical and electronics engineering. Nine faculty members are benefited with an incentive amount of rupees 1,16,000. May we now request our principal sir to honor the awardees. 
Dr. M. Kaliyamurthy is a renowned researcher in the field of Tripoli with an impressive H-index of 13 and a highest impact factor of 2.1. His outstanding achievements has earned him a total amount of rupees 23,500. Dr. B. Vinod Kumar is a renowned researcher in the field of Tripoli with an impressive H-index of 6 and a highest impact factor of 3.16. His outstanding achievements has earned him a total amount of rupees 12,000. Dr. B. Kisho is a notable researcher in the field of Tripoli with an impressive H-index of 10 and a highest impact factor of 6.7. His outstanding achievements have earned him a total amount of rupees 44,500. <laughs> Dr. K. Uma Mageshwari is an eminent researcher in the field of Tripoli with an impressive H index of 3 and a highest impact of 5.6. Her outstanding achievements have earned her a total amount of rupees 7,000. Dr. K. Ramesh Kumar is an eminent researcher in the field of Tripoli with an impressive H index of 7 and the highest impact factor of 2.3. His outstanding achievements in patent grant has earned him a total amount of rupees 5,000. <laughs> Mr. M. Prabhuraj is an eminent researcher in the field of Tripoli with an impressive H index of 1 and the highest impact factor of 8.2. His outstanding achievements have earned him a total amount of rupees 1,500. <laughs> Dr. K. Saranya is a notable researcher in the field of Tripoli with an impressive H index of 4 and highest impact factor of 2.6. Her achievements has earned him a total amount of rupees 7,500. <laughs> Mr. T. Satish Kumar is a renowned researcher in the field of Tripoli with an impressive H index of 5 and a highest impact factor of 1.8. His outstanding achievements have earned him a total amount of rupees 10,000. <laughs> Ms. V. Kalpagam is a renowned researcher in the field of Tripoli with an impressive H index of 1 and a highest impact factor of 1.79. Her outstanding achievements have earned her a total amount of rupees 5,000. Next, we turn our attention to the esteemed faculty members of ECE department. Nine faculty members are benefited with an incentive of rupees 93,000. We request Sendhil Kumar Saad to honor the awardees of ECE department. Dr. R. Sudhagar is a distinguished researcher in the field of ECE with an impressive H index of 15 and the highest impact factor of 5.1. His outstanding achievements have earned him a total amount of rupees 5000. Dr. V.K. Sudha is a renowned researcher in the field of ECE with an impressive H index of 5 and the highest impact factor of 3.6. Her outstanding achievements have earned her a total amount of rupees 8,000. Dr. N. Saravana Kumar is a notable researcher in the field of ECE with an impressive H index of 7 and the highest impact factor of 3. His outstanding achievements have earned him a total amount of rupees 24,000. Dr. S. Bharati is an eminent researcher in the field of ECE with an impressive H index of 7 and the highest impact factor of 4.1. Her outstanding achievements have earned her a total amount of rupees 31,500. Dr. R. S. Venkateshan is a renowned researcher in the field of ECE with an impressive H index of 1 and the highest impact factor of 1.86. His outstanding achievements have earned him a total amount of rupees 5000. Due to his absence, may we request Dr. N. Saravana Kumar of ECE department to receive the incentive. 
Ms. T. Satyapriya is a renowned researcher in the field of ECE with an impressive H index of 5. Her top publications include Journal of Nano Electronic Physics. Her outstanding achievements have earned her a total amount of rupees 1,500. Due to her absence, may we request Ms. Nitya Meenakshi from ECE department to receive the incentive. Mr. V. Gurunathan is a renowned researcher in the field of ECE with an impressive H index of 5. His outstanding achievements have earned him a total amount of rupees 1,500. May we now request our Dean, Dr. Calvin, Industry Relations and Talent Development to honor the awardees. We now turn our attention to the esteemed faculty member of Cyber Security and Artificial Intelligence and Machine Learning. One faculty member is benefited on an incentive of rupees 37,500. Dr. K. N. Vijay Kumar is a distinguished researcher in the field of cyber security and AML with an impressive H index of 6 and the highest impact factor of 2.62. His outstanding achievements have earned him a total amount of rupees 37,500. We now turn our attention to the esteemed faculty members of Science and Humanities. Six faculty members are benefited with an incentive of rupees 89,500. Dr. B. Savanakumar is a distinguished researcher in the field of Science and Humanities with an impressive H index of 19 and the highest impact factor of 9.5. His outstanding achievements have earned him a total amount of rupees 27,500. Dr. K. Kalai Selvi is a renowned researcher in the field of science and humanities with an impressive H index of 1 and the highest impact factor of 1.2. Her outstanding achievements have earned her a total amount of rupees 3,000. Dr. S. Parvin is a notable researcher in the field of science and humanities with an impressive H index of 5 and the highest impact factor of 5.8. Her outstanding achievements have earned her a total amount of rupees 42,500. <laughs> Dr. J. Johnson William is a renowned researcher in the field of science and humanities with an impressive H index of 13 and the highest impact factor of 15.1. Due to his absence, may we request Dr. B. Saravanakumar to receive the incentive. Dr. M. Mariyappan is a renowned researcher in the field of science and humanities with an impressive H index of 6 and the highest impact factor of 6.37. His outstanding achievements have earned him a total amount of rupees 3,000. Dr. R. Ramesh is a renowned researcher in the field of science and humanities with an impressive H index of 4 and the highest impact factor of 0.76. His outstanding achievements have earned him a total amount of rupees 6,000. We request our principal sir to honor the awardees of supporting staffs. Three faculty members have been benefited from incentives for the impeccable work they have done. Mr. B. Rangarajan from the Department of Automobile Engineering receives a total climb amount of rupees 6,000. Mr. J. Anthony Wilson from the Department of ECE receives a total amount of rupees 4,500. Mr. Taluri Vinil Jesse, Senior Research Fellowship of C2S Project from the Department of ECE receives a total climb amount of rupees 12,000. Now we are glad to inform that incentive amount for consultancy activities had already been distributed to the teaching and non-teaching faculty members during August 2023 and hence we would like to honor them with certificates for their meritorious contribution towards consultancy activities. The following are requested to receive your certificates. Dr. Yal Chitra, Associate Professor of Tripoli Department.
Mr. M. Prabhuraj, Assistant Professor, SS of Tripoli e Department. Mr. M. Saravana Kumar, Assistant Professor, SS Tripoli e Department. Due to his absence, we request Mr. M. Prabhuraj of Tripoli e Department to receive the certificate. Dr. K. Srinivasan, Assistant Professor, SS of Civil Department. Mr. A. Manigandan, Assistant Professor, SS of Civil Department. Mr. S. Said Masudu, Assistant Professor, SS of Civil Department. Mr. P. S. Satish Kumar, Assistant Professor, SS of Civil Department. Mr. S. Dinesh Kumar, Assistant Professor of Civil Department. Mr. M. Sudarshanan, Assistant Professor of Civil Department. Mr. K. Karupasamy, Lab Assistant of Civil Department. Mr. P. Saktivel, Lab Assistant of Civil Department. Mr. K. Arivalagan, Lab Assistant of Triple E Department. On his absence, we request Mr. B. Saravanraj, Lab Assistant of Triple E Department, to receive the certificate. Next is Mr. B. Saravanraj, Lab Assistant of Triple E Department. Mr. M. Malayandi Sami, Lab Assistant of Tripoli e Department. Mr. Y. Christopher Michael Raj, Lab Assistant of Tripoli e Department. Mr. R. Amarnath, Lab Assistant of Tripoli e Department. Mr. C. Vishnu Chandar, Lab Assistant of Tripoli e Department. Thank you, everyone. The session is now open for providing your valuable feedback. Faculty members are invited to share your views. Secretary Sir and dignitaries of the days and on the days. Good morning to all. So it's a great initiative by the management, and uh, I want to stress upon three points as a feedback here. The 
first one is research ambience so we know very well those who are working more than 10 to 15 years know very well the research ambience is much improved nowadays see actually a lot of initiatives r and i division is taking care sir listed many of the things so some of the things are very important that first one is knowledge sharing sessions it creates a lot of impact on faculty members so whatever the research we are doing every week we are presenting it's a good initiative thank you sir and the second one is research tools and incentive so tools and support by the management is very important for to carry out a proper research so facilities created in a huge way in, in mcet i know very well lot of instruments are there in the mcet but we have to take care of that instrument and we have to design our research on that specific instrument that is another one important thing and uh, giving incentive in the in the, in the massive uh, things like this and uh, tools like uh, uh, plagiarism checker and uh, quill board and those kind of things created a lot of things a lot of uh, <coughs> lot of impact on uh, those who are doing research and uh, another very important thing is <coughs> another very important thing is uh, uh, in uh, in, uh, in r&d division they are taking lot of initiatives for students also so and uh, those who are having the uh, project students they can easily convert into papers and in for science and uh, humanities department also we are also having some batches from triple e it's a very very good initiative it creates lot of uh, combination between other department with science department it's a good initiative i personally thank uh, our management team and r and i team for this and uh, my humble request to all faculty members in this juncture right we should not pay single penny to the publishing the papers as a article processing fees so lot of predatory journals are getting more amount of money actually we are doing work why we have to pay the money we should not do that and those who are doing starting their research career at mcet now you are in a very good position and you are you are with a very good environment try to start your research with our own instrument and with our own faculty members if you are publishing your papers try to join with your colleague definitely it's very very important thing to progress further as a team we always win thank you very much for the opportunity thank you good morning everybody present here uh, first of all i thank management team admin team for granting me this opportunity to sit over here. Uh, sir, uh, regarding feedback, according to me, uh, nowadays the research culture, research vibe has been increased among all our faculty members. Uh, wherever we meet in our play, I mean, staff room, even in our canteen, nowadays we used to discuss how to I mean, publish a paper, how to select a journal, how to face the review comments, etc. So significantly the research vibe has been constantly increasing among our faculty members. And um, again, because of the incentive amount, uh, sir, nowadays we are even increased by our fa family members. Thing is that they are not bothering us too much uh, for uh, small, small activities. Uh, they are asking us to, I mean, uh, publish more papers and to get benefited by the opportunity. Uh, thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much for considering our research, uh, I mean, activities and recognition. Thank you very much. on the dais and off the dais. Very good morning to all. As we all know that we are in the journey of uh, elevating our institution to the next higher status. In this juncture, this is very imperative that uh, we, are, we have been having in this kind of uh, culture in our institution. And also it is my uh, desire to witness more such uh, initiatives in order to strengthen the the faculty and also I express my heartfelt gratitude to our management by it is just it's not the case it just witnesses the uh, their uh, the amount of uh, the love and care the management our uh, admin team the process on the growth of a faculty it may be the amount may be a small or large that's not immaterial that is the what is the kind of care they are having on our faculty with this I express my heartfelt thanks to our management, our secretary sir, principal sir, and all the deans of various sessions for arranging such ceremony. Thank you all. Good 
morning to everyone. Um, first of all, I want to thank you, the management, admin team, um, organizing team, for providing us such a wonderful opportunity uh, in which the young researchers get recognized. That is the best thing I have ever seen here, uh, research. Pursuing research in a home in town is a dream for me. It came to true because our institute. They provide a uh, lab for me and um, the basic amenities and in which I'm doing my research peacefully. Uh, I'm grateful to the thing uh, to happen to me. Thank you to the management admin team. And uh, I'm uh, joining hands with you, congratulating each and every one uh, awardees here. And also I'm encouraging the young researchers uh, for producing more papers, patents, and projects. The forum is open to everyone. It is your way to find your uh, job, everything and all. And finally, thank you to the team for providing an opportunity. Thank you, everyone. Good morning to one and all. Uh, in this junction, uh, first of all, I thank to the management for kinding, uh, this kind of uh, incentive provide to the faculty members for the research development. And also, I am previously working in the two college. In that college, there is this kind of no incentive amount they are provided by the management. But here, they have to provide the incentive amount for the <laughs> of the faculty members. And also, some of the to the testing of the materials, whatever it is, product development, etc. In this junction, again, I request to the management to purchase the scanning electron machine for the material research. Is, uh, in our uh, college, the major uh, research is going on the material development. It is definitely benefit, benefit to the civil department to make automobiles and as well as physics department. So in this junction, if we purchase the same machine, means definitely we have to increase the production of the paper because it takes the more number of time for the testing and development, for the particularly for the civil so in this junction, it is the same for the management. Thank you all. Ms. Patterson, thank you, sir. And the group is presenting dice. So first of all, I express my sincere thanks to uh, management and uh, RA Dean, sir, for uh, creating this uh, incentive award ceremony. So this is one of the great encouragement to all the faculty members to do research work and uh, continuous improvement in all research activities. So I full heartedly thank R.I. Dean sir for uh, appreciating all the faculty members to involve in all research activities. Thank you. Thank you all. dignities on the dais and off the dais. Good morning to everyone. Uh, I would like to express my sincere uh, thanks and gratitude to the management and admin team uh, for providing the incentives and uh, my special thanks to the uh, Dean RI and the RI team for uh, providing so many uh, opportunities for the faculty members to engage themselves in research activities. Right? So there are so many uh, RI tools right, apart from the incentives. We have uh, a research culture being developed in the institution. And uh, you know that um, compared to the last time, we have a lot more incentive receivers uh, in this year, right? which shows a positive sign or a positive attitude from the uh, faculty members towards research. Uh, at this juncture, I would like to uh, mention that, that uh, research should not be just only for uh, receiving incentives. Right? It should be a, a culture that we should uh, develop from within. Right. So I encourage all the budding engineers and uh, researchers to uh, engage themselves in research activities. And you know that it's not just uh, only the funding or it's not only the patents. You have so many avenues, like even in publications, you have uh, the minimum scopus or ACI or even Q1 journals. Right. And um, having said that, um, uh, one thing which uh, I would like to emphasize is that uh, uh, sometimes research, research may seem to be like uh, very tough or boring. But along with passion, uh, we also need patience and uh, perseverance because uh, what happens is that generally we tend to give up uh, 
immediately when things don't work or it gets rejected. But uh, nevertheless, we should keep trying because that's how research goes. Right, so I encourage all the faculty members to uh, take act active participation in research and uh, I once again thank the management team for uh, providing this opportunity and uh, such an uh, you know, avenue which is not available in many institutions. Thank you. Now, we would like to invite the faculty members who have not received incentive in today's function to share your views and feedback. Uh, good morning to all. First of all, thanks to the management team uh, for arranging this uh, ceremony. I think I can ask a privilege uh, uh, in this uh, ceremony itself. Uh, kindly engage uh, the supporting staffs and non-teaching staffs also for this uh, kind of research and uh, seminars uh, conducting in our uh, institutions. So uh, that only I need to ask, sir. So kindly take this uh, privilege, I think. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. So, uh, good morning to everyone. Uh, it is a opportunity to express uh, <coughs> my uh, feedback about the uh, research uh, progress. We know that uh, for the past uh, <coughs> semester, uh, Dean Arundai and, and uh, their team, they have taken a uh, lot of efforts and many uh, reviews and constantly uh, arranging some uh, programs like uh, uh, pattern drafting and other uh, useful sessions. By taking all these uh, <coughs> inputs, uh, my, uh, I personally uh, started uh, doing my uh, activities uh, in <coughs> uh, research publication. Uh, right now I have submitted uh, two SCA papers <coughs> uh, yeah, in this uh, junction and I am trying uh, for another uh, uh, two <coughs> SCA papers in this uh, uh, upcoming uh, uh, semester. Uh, I, have, uh <coughs> uh, I have been observing there is a lot of change. Uh, in, uh, uh, it is uh, created a lot of interest uh, uh, for doing research. Uh, like me, I hope all the uh, faculty members having same thoughts and uh, uh, I, uh, I give my best wish to all the uh, faculty members to get uh, some rewards and uh, incentives in the upcoming uh, session. Thank you. to one and all present here. This is not only a awarding ceremony, this is an encouraging ceremony for our new people uh, like me. I joined two months ago. Uh, it's a great place to work, I am realizing now. And uh, with the help of my colleagues and my HODs, I equip myself and uh, I'll be 
the list of I will be in the list of awardees in near future. Thank you, thank you for this wonderful opportunity. Thank you. Yes, sir. Okay, sir. So, suggestions. I'm learning now, sir. Because there is a, uh, for, the, for me, there is a gap. So, I'm uh, restart my career here. And uh, it's uh, um, a night test. We need to uh, use this uh, platform to equip uh, each and every one of us because everything here uh, they are providing for us. So we need to use and utilize those opportunities to build ourselves as well as our institution. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. A great leader inspires his team to turn challenges into times. Now, with Amos Horner, we would like to invite the admin team members to felicitate our awarders on this memorable occasion. A very good note to everyone present here. Our principal, the Dean, R and Dr. Amarishan, the Dean Academic and Autonomous, Dr. Sendal Kumar, Dean IR, ID and uh, year and uh, talent development, Dr. Calvin, the various heads of departments, faculty members, both teaching and supporting staff, and all present here. I feel really honored to witness this event as a second time in our campus in a short time of one year. I would like before going to the suggestion or my views, I would like to congratulate all the members who have taken real spirit, very good effort in getting this simple incentive. It's not a big amount, it is not a big recognition in my view, but still recognition is a recognition. Award is an award. On that count, after a long gap of 10 years, we have started recognizing for the last seven years work done by the faculty members. And also the feedback from all the members, both the awardees and about to be awarded, it's a real input. Thanks for all your support and thanks for your input. Friends, indeed, ever since this campus was established, this is 26th year. All along, the management has been encouraging the faculty first. Faculty is a backbone for any institution. Management can create infrastructure, invest fund, provide opportunity, but unless we take it in the right sense, utilize it, create a culture of competitive spirit among the individual. I always used to say, if you do something, even a small amount of reward you get, this is not the kind of a achievement, but this is a kind of a satisfaction for the individual to feel proud that, yes, I have done something, I am being recognized. Also, I used to say, always when you get something with the institution, team, and the kind of the support, you are the first beneficiary. Anything that you get, a delta increment on your profile is the first initiate, initiation is yours and you are the beneficiary, then comes to the department, then comes to the institution. That kind of a spirit we all have to have. And if I remember correct, even 10, 12 years back, in a forum like this in the same hall we have announced, management is happy to allocate 1% of the total budget of the annual budget of the campus, the recurring budget for research and development, R&D activity, publication, or pattern, or whatever it is. When we started moving to the second cycle of NBA, 
on the neck. We thought this way and announced many of the senior faculty members here, they know. But I don't say that it is the fault of the faculty. Not much of push or the kind of initiative was not taken up. That is our fault. And I used to congratulate the team sitting on the dais. I have taken voluntarily the representation from the faculty side. A role that they want to do and create a culture of initiative put in on the individual head. So in that count, when the, after the three dean's positions were created, and Dr. Ramakrishnan took charge as a dean of r and in the last almost two years, he used to urge me, he used to sit with me for a number of hours. And this we used to discuss in the admin meeting even. And that has created a culture today. We are witnessing, we are congratulating, we are appreciating, and we are also getting feedback from all the members. This is a good sign for the growth of any institution, growth of any faculty group. The second thing today, we have the academic and autonomous is combined together. This was also a thought to create opportunity, decentralize the day-to-day -day academic activities. And that makes the curriculum revamping, curriculum development, or uh, students' activity, or the faculty training, and so on, is taken by Dr. Sandal Kumar. The third very important thing, whatever we talk within the four wheels, four halls, unless and until we collaborate with outside agency, so to say the industry people, or the corporate people, or the potential employers, nothing will move forward. So that's why the industry relations and the talent development was combined. And CPG department is taken over by Dr. Calvin. And probably you all know, you know better than me, what is the progress that we do, what is the kind of the plus and minus we have, and how we can take it forward to the next level. And all these things have to be consulted, consolidated, and recommended to the management. As a management representative, it is my duty to organize this kind of a meeting. I am very proud and happy to see today that many of you are happy to have your certificates and a small token of appreciation. In fact, left to me, this has to be spreaded further, increased by two times, three times. And yesterday also, when I was talking with the Dean RI, I was telling, sir, it looks only 30%. When are we going to reach two-thirds of the total faculty strength? Am I correct, sir? I was asking him. And similar to that, faculty member, somebody was telling on the training, supporting staff, somebody in the feedback said, we need a lot of training and exposure. This is, again, a policy of the management in this campus that whenever we support faculty members to go for training, presentation of paper, or taking part in conference. I used to always tell the principal and the teams, better you take the supporting staff, identify the area of their interest, or the area that is required for enhancing their capability. Please deploy them compulsorily with our support to any industry or any research organization or any conference. They are also qualified and they also need support. Their support is required for better teaching learning process in any institution, without which we cannot say that, yes, we have achieved. So that is also a valid point somebody has given. Also, the Student Research Council was started recently. This was part of the activity I was telling to Dean RI. Already we have got Inos research grant, and every time we used to say, Previously, we used to say every semester, beginning and end of the semester, we used to have a meeting like this with all the faculty members, taking input and then taking forward thought process. In that, we always say fund is available. For faculty training, faculty support, research, and other development or in-house research, no restriction here in this campus, you can verify with anybody. Even the inspection team used to say that, yes, you, your college is supporting a lot much for faculty training. 
Similarly, Dr. Sarvana Kumar was telling, see the research grant, particularly the UGC and other central government organization funded research, minor research grant is liberally available for faculty members to do research. And that is why the knowledge sharing session has been established by him. That also we will have to explore. The pattern from 3 to 19 has been increased. But this is not sufficient, that's what I used to say. I was just asking all over, our activity should go from 30% to 70%. That means 70% of the faculty will have that credibility in their hand. And our management, particularly the former chairman and the present chairman, used to say that during the tenure in the campus, don't say they are not contributed, you provide the opportunity for them to contribute, and whenever they want to move to the next level of their ladder, provide them opportunity to go anywhere. Don't restrict them to be here alone. Wherever they go, they cannot forget the kind of support and the kind of facility they got, the kind of felicitation they got. They will be useful in some other area. That's again going to be a teaching learning process. Some students will get the benefit elsewhere. That should be the credit for an institution. This is a policy of the management. So my request to all of you, reaching from 30 to 70 percent is a big task. But you should aim for excellence and you will at least end up in perfection, something like that. So every one of you, please come forward. You have a big team. Dedicated teams are there. Still we are thinking, the management is thinking, how to still decentralize and provide opportunity for them to interact and then come up with successful model. So at this juncture, today, I think 60 faculty members, 60, 60 faculty members got the recognition and all of you have witnessed and still a lot more opportunities available. And also, we want to have the good collaborative research work with industry that Dr. Calvin is often requested. Why not establish a collaborative research with the team in our campus and with the team with other collaborative partnership industry? That's also one of the major things that we can do. Similar to that, you can come forward and like Dean Ari is coming to, to you often share sharing some of his thought and your input. He is from the report, every report he is to submit to me. I have a copy of it. Still we can improve. You can be the real input player. Whatever the input you give, that will be taken up. Whether it is possible or not, we will go through it, discuss with you, and then you will come out with a suggestion. The student SRC, Student Research Council principal and dean have come out the suggestion, we said, is it one lakh sufficient? That's what I was asking. Providing funding for the faculty and students on these activities is not a limitation here. Probably we may have limitation in other areas. And most of the senior people will agree with it. Anybody who wants to even travel abroad, do research, come out with good exposure, good partnership, yes, it has been given. It is being even now given. And another important thing, yesterday I shared some of the input I got from one of my friends, the mighty, the Dr. K. N. Vijay Kumar got the grant of a C2S project. For that, now the central ministry is announcing in the open forum, in the Times of India it has come published, and I just shared with all of them, in that, 100 plus colleges, 100 colleges across the country has been given C2S grant, particularly in the CHIP2. So today, startup. Today, the startup, not only startup, semiconductor industry is booming up, and we see every day big giant startup like people are putting up big semiconductor manufacturing facilities. Now, out of the 100 colleges, we are all proud and we should feel proud and tell to anybody, we are one of the college 
got this 1.4 crore grant. And as he said already, the two uh, courses which we have not asked, we were asked to introduce that course, whether you are willing or not, they got the concurrence from us, VLSA and ACT. And, and that uh, article which appeared in the newspaper, the minister has uh, appealed, the officials have appealed. There is a very good opportunity on research, development activities. Why not? The tools are given free of cost to the college. Already we have cadence and other softwares. And Vijikum, Mr. Vijaykumar is taking care of that. But we all have to support and make these 60 plus 60 students, 120 students in both the department, which we got it as a gift because of the grant. We got it as a gift to the college. So the students are expected to have a research knowledge, research input, and establish a fab lab and all in our campus for which they have published. Not even a big university or big college can get it. We got one among the 100 colleges and that in a remote place. It's a real opportunity and a pride for the institution. So my request to all the HODs, all the faculty members who are assembled here, utilizing this opportunity, I would like to kindly request every one of you Please go through the detail with all the deans they have. And let us make this as a kind of a significant evident on the CTS project in the coming days. And what the government expects, the mighty expects, 2030, 27 to 30, they want to have 80,000 trained engineering graduates through this project. Why not we be the leading institution in this subject. This is my added appeal to all of you. That will also make a lot more research both for the students, faculty, and industry collaboration. So to conclude, let me have the opportunity to appreciate and Dr. the Dean R.I., Dr. Ramakrishnan, and his team, and all the supporting faculty members in this project in making this event as a second event in our campus. Today, of course, our chairman and correspondent out of country, they could not be present. And make this as an appeal from the admin team and the management. Make this 30% research work and other development work to 50 next year, 50%. And let us increase further. Whatever the support, financial and other support, it will be made available. Feel free to approach them. And the good contribution made by all the faculty members and the kind of day we celebrate as the incentive award day. Let this be a continuing affair. Continuous work has to be done. And let us see that another two years. Let this be 60% at least. 50 one year, 60 in the another two years. So I wish you all the best, and I congratulate every one of you and all the admin team members for this consistent effort and contribution they have. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Gratitude is the highest blossom. Respected uh, Secretary, sir, uh, deans, heads of departments, and uh, my dear faculty members, very uh, pleasant morning to one and all present here again. <coughs> First of all, I would like to uh, congratulate uh, uh, the teachers, uh, faculty members who have received uh, the incentives, and uh, of course, congratulations to uh, the faculty members who are on the process to uh, get the incentives uh, in the uh, coming years. Um, and uh, uh, thank you for the feedback given by the faculty members and really it's um, what I have taken one or two points. Um, uh, one thing I wanted to uh, inform you, like uh, a student uh, research forum was uh, initiated uh, uh, a couple of months before and maybe, maybe one year before. 
and the why how it uh, it uh, comes to our mind to initiate this kind of forum for students to encourage them uh, doing research and so on because one day when I was coming out from my uh, office and one student asked me, he, he used to discuss with me, he uh, mentioned that, sir, uh, we have a student skill of service, uh, why can't we have a student skill of research? That was the point that he, then immediately the next day I discussed with the uh, deans and uh, then that forum started, like. Then uh, up to uh, uh, Ramakrishnan sir's effort, like the, he wanted to initiate the similar kind of things for uh, faculty, that is why the research forum for faculty also. Today, uh, Vishnu, he, uh, for supporting staff, he came and pointed out, it struck my mind. Uh, he, he requested to uh, incorporate all uh, supporting staff uh, facility or the knowledge uh, for the contributing, uh, he is ready to contribute for the research uh, work uh, w when the faculties are doing it. Of course, whatever we do, definitely the support will be there from the supporting staff. Uh, I feel personally, why can't we have a forum for uh, supporting staff, a research kind of forum to encourage them, because really they are uh, working uh, backbone for work. We can also uh, do kind of forum for uh, supporting staff and we can encourage them, uh, we can train them also. <coughs> Uh, you may not be knowing it, uh, some of uh, non-teaching staff, they approached me, they want to learn spoken English because they really want to have, if that particular uh, communication skill is established, they hardly believe because they have already technical aspects. Uh, and then I uh, made it a five member team, then I approached the English department and things are going on in the after college of us. This also good initiatives coming from the faculty and then we are organizing it. What I mean to say is like the approach must be a, a faculty driven approach, not the management driven approach. Okay, when you come and ask something, definitely that will be taken care of and uh, it will be discussed in a forum. We have forum in the admin team and we have a forum with the uh, chairman also and definitely this will be uh, uh, decided, uh, uh, discussed and definitely will come out with a good solution. So. Uh, Saravana Kumar or somebody mentioned that uh, we want to have a, a, a specific research facility. Uh, I understood uh, what they mean to ask, like uh, it, it comes around like one crore or something that we are supposed to invest. If that facility is available, I think definitely good number of research papers can be converted. Uh, I'm really appreciated, I'm really wanted to uh, uh, ask the management to provide that kind of facility. In my opinion, definitely that's not a uh, tough task to ask them or tough task for them to invest uh, that amount for research, uh, improving the research quality inside the campus. Definitely it is possible. Only thing is how we approach them is important. You come out, don't come one single man and then I, I will they say it's for a single uh, task or single person, we cannot invest that huge amount. We may not be knowing how many are interested to uh, use that facility, how we are going to generate revenue out of it and within how many years we are going to have or complete that uh, I mean revenue, uh, the task that we are going to complete. If these things are uh, very clear, I think we can approach uh, definitely uh, management to invest that amount, it, it may not be the tough task. And uh, whatever the initiative uh, done by uh, Dean or done, uh, I mean, uh, I mean uh, permitted by, from the admin team, we also used to visit many colleges uh, uh, before initiate, I mean, introducing new schemes over here, we visited uh, Congo Engineering College and uh, Banariman Institute. We understood what kind of research uh, forum, research activities is going on. Uh, I think Mr. Sangar from Congo Engineering College, we approached him and uh, he narrated so many things, how uh, effective way that he is doing it. And he showcased one faculty, done 36 papers consecutively every year he produces 36 papers and they earn around three to four lakhs per year as a revenue incentives from the management. Uh, comparing to that, that you can realize like, is it possible to make 36 quality papers every year? Is it, they are doing it, one person, and it is also published in the uh, website also it is there. Mm, you can go and see how many papers, how quality papers he is doing it. And uh, I request our, our faculty members to keep it that as a benchmark uh, for your career progress and then uh, keep trying. 
and uh, one more uh, not advice and suggestion i can say whatever the paper that you produce uh, please try to connect the industry take on industry personnel along with your paper and then try to make it identify the industry related problems and solve it and do it that will be have a more weightage in future so that's very important and second one is uh, whatever the research paper that you do is try to uh, bring the your uh, student into the uh, paper or the project then convert it so that whatever you do finally the students should be benefited that's an ultimate that is why aict is insisting uh, in the institution and faculty i mean focus more on research why because you will uh, inculcate those things to the students mindset that is why i think uh, these three things i uh, noticeably today it struck my mind i think you can take it in a positive way and then i think you can implement it in the days to come and finally uh, from the management side uh, one uh, we we keep uh, uh, i mean uh, discussing many points related to uh, uh, research and so many other things also with the management in a different forum uh management was kind enough uh, and uh, s uh, chairman uh, of course he given a, uh, uh, permissions to take uh, 10 faculty start with exclusively for uh, research purpose uh, faculty for research or professor for research that faculty will not be having any other work other than the research he will be attached of course to the department but he will not be in connected with any other activities of the department he will be given only uh, research the task will be given it will be driven so that is so we may uh, uh, with a noticeable uh, task will be uh, not task uh, instructions and other things will be, we will prepare and we will meet you or we will inform you whoever info whoever uh, having interest to uh move your uh, uh, area from uh, academic into completely 100% research is having an a good opportunity for you all uh, then we are going to uh, select some few people from uh, reputed institutions uh, like iits and nits that's our plan and uh, 10 more uh, faculty also they are permitted to recruit for exclusively uh, placement purpose so we wanted to have an our own uh, 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 i mean uh, uh, placement and training for training uh, they permitted 10 more faculty members we can build our own uh, training team inside the campus that's the that's the purpose and we started working for it uh, i think you can also uh, inform any good numbers available somewhere i, d I mean if you have friends outside and they have uh, that huge potential in the research or kind of training and then you can bring to our knowledge so that uh, we will plan accordingly then we can make it happen and definitely the placement and research will go parallelly good so uh, that's my uh, idea i don't want to take much time because two of my colleagues also wanted to share something thank you very much uh, for the opportunity given and uh, again congratulations to one and all person here thank you Good afternoon to everyone. Uh, first, let me congratulate all the awardees who received in incentives today. Uh, with the support of our management, our secretary, uh, definitely our team is doing a lot of things to change the conducive environment for all the domains, not only in research, research, uh, industry relations, academic, all these things. Uh, I hope we are going in the right direction. Uh, and uh, i congratulate dean arundey and team uh, for the progress shown in the report definitely his initiative uh, the dean and uh, other teams initiative so it's a remarkable progress even though it is not satisfy but uh, done a lot of thing uh, and even i uh, actually i have heard many feedback from the faculty members sir everybody started doing research what about other activities uh, actually lot of stress has been posted on the faculty member to do the research definitely it is like that uh, actually if you look at any uh, college 
the problem is with the research. If you take NAC or NBA, we'll be weak in C5 or C3. That is the problem. So we have to definitely improve that. Uh, so if any system is at standstill, we have to give a lot of thrust to move. Once it reaches some uh, level, so we don't need to give thrust automatically. It is an integral part of the system. So that now the phase is like that. So we need a lot of thrust and research to reach that level. So we have to accept it. So after a few years, definitely, the, this thrust will not be there. Automatically, every faculty who is joined as a teacher will do the research, will do the project, they will do all these things. So now, the, uh, the team is inculcating the culture of doing research as part of uh, teaching, learning, and the industrial relationship. Actually, teaching, learning, and industrial connection, the first beneficiary is a student. Second beneficiary is a faculty and then institution. But uh, research is concerned, first beneficiary is the faculty, the second beneficiary is the student and the institution. So we have to do that, we have to take it in a right sense. Every, all the three should be integrated, we should not compromise anything. I hope within a short time everything will be come to the level what we expected and we do, we do the better thing. Thank you. Thank you all. Good afternoon, everybody. <coughs> Good afternoon. Okay, you're all alert. <coughs> I'll take two minutes. Uh, first of all, congratulations to uh, Dean Arai and the team and all the uh, people who received your incentives today, others who are working towards that. I have two suggestions to make. The first one, the data at the end, I in fact was sharing with uh, Ramakrishnan that you should have closed it with a punch statement uh, where he made a beautiful summary, plus two, and this much percentage is possible. It's very simple, start leveraging your strengths. If you are not found out what is your strength, as a very young faculty, keep experimenting. Seniors, you will know what is your strength, start working on your strengths, results will be automatic, number one. Number two, Dean AA connected students, teaching learning students. I am longing for some time in the campus to hear about research into education, which will connect students, faculty and institute because of which students will get directly benefited. So the amount of technical work that we do, if you could spend 10% of that on education, come up with research, which could be into technology, which could be into processes, which could be into techniques, that will go a long way in changing the institute and uh, making it whatever it has to be in the future. Thank you. God bless. Thank you, everyone. We are reminded that events like this are the milestones in the journey of our life. As we progress towards the closure of this function, may we now invite Mr. V. Gurunathan, Assistant Professor, Department of ECE, External Funded and In-House R&I Coordinator to propose the vote of thanks. Very good afternoon to everyone present, both on and off the dais, on behalf of Office of Dean Research and Innovation, it's my honor and privilege to propose a vote of thanks for this today's Research Incentive Award Ceremony. At the outset, I express our gratitude to the management, our secretary sir, correspondent sir, chairman sir, for their continuous support and encouragement to the faculty members in carrying out various research and innovation activities. We sincerely thank for consenting for today's Research Incentive Award Ceremony and distribution of research incentive to the faculty members in recognition of their contributions across various categories, including paper publications, funded projects, and consultancies. Thank you, sir. 
I extend my thanks to our CHRO sir, uh, Dr. S. V. Subramanian sir, for his support and encouragement among faculty members. And he devised an appraisal system in the past year for recognizing and appreciating the faculty members with exceeding expectation. Next, I extend my sincere thanks to our principal, Dr. B. Govindasamy sir, for providing his continuous motivation and encouragement. He always shares his ideas with the uh, he assuming the role of the head of the institution, he served as the institution R&D coordinator. Through his continuous experience, the faculty members during the last in research incentive award ceremony. Thank you, sir. Further, I extend my heartfelt gratitude to our dynamic dean, research and innovation, Dr. S. Ramakrishnan, sir for his unwavering dedication for the advancement of both faculty members and institutions in the area of research and innovation. Since assuming the role of Dean RI, various initiatives have been implemented at MCET to foster an outstanding research culture among our faculty members and students. To limelight an initiative, SRC has been established to facilitate multidisciplinary collaboration and, and which provides a best platform for the students to uh, present their research findings and innovative ideas in the in engineering and technology fields. Thank you, sir. Now I extend my sincere gratitude to our Dean Academics and Autonomous, Dr. A. Sindhil Kumar, sir, for his encouragement to pursue res research activities and his assistance in recognizing faculty members who exceed expectation in collaboration with our CHRO. Thank you, sir. I extend my thanks to our Dean IRTD, Dr. Calvin, sir, for offering encouragement to the faculty community to carry out consultancy activities through various centers of excellence. Thank you, sir. Now I extend my heartfelt thanks to all head of the departments and faculty members for their dedication and contribution to research, which have significantly contributed to institution growth and attainment of commandable ranking and accreditation from statutory bodies. At this juncture, on behalf of Office of Dean Research and Innovation, I wish to express a gratitude to all single point contacts of RIG groups for hosting research seminars. And I extend my gratitude to the members of SRC for their efforts in organizing research related events. Through the introduction of SRC, RIG, KSS and various review meetings, a valuable opportunities have been provided for the faculty members to enhance their research profile, thereby fostering an outstanding research culture with our institution. A support of our supporting faculty members is always unparalleled. Lastly, I extend my heartfelt gratitude to office section, studio MCT, ITES, civil and electrical maintenance teams for their invaluable support which was the instrumental in successful completion of this ceremony. Thank you all. Thanks for the opportunity. The function comes to a formal closure with the photo session organized near Diamond Jubilee Building. Hence, all the members of admin team, HODs, and all the awarders are requested to assemble near Diamond Jubilee Building now for chasing these moments. Thank you. <laughs>